What's up team, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be discussing Exercise Cambrian Patrol. It is the premier patrolling event of the British Army which is open to all free services including reservists and it's even open to overseas military units. So you can apply to enter a team um, whether you're in Army, Navy, Air Force and the Reserves and even if you are an overseas foreign military, you have Indian, Pakistan, Canadian, American, Spanish, they can all come along and try out and it's basically there to test the basic standards of your soldiers. No one really wins but what you are competing for is either a bronze, silver or gold medal. There can be as many gold medals awarded, same with the silver, same as the bronze, or you can just sort of get a pass or you can get a fail. The patrol um, is a eight man patrol with a patrol commander, a second in command and six patro patrol private soldiers. And it's hard. Is it as hard as what people say? No, I don't think so. I done Cambrian patrol twice. I got a bronze medal in the first one and then I got a silver medal on my second one. It's basically held in Wales in the Brecon Beacons um, and it is a really, really good exercise. It's done over two days. So you normally set off in the early hours and you finish in around 36 to 48 hours later, depending on sort of how quickly you finish, depending on how good you are at the task, your navigation, and obviously your physical um, standard. So your ability to keep going. There's a lot of sleep deprivation. A lot of teams actually pull out and fail. I remember I got to the river crossing uh, and just as we got there, we got told that the team before us got to the river crossing and the team just quit and sort of just didn't want to carry on. So that's you out. The assessment criteria, it's they always make it different each year, so it's never the same. It's always done in a different location. So it could be in the Black Mountains. It could be sort of more Brecon Beacons. And they're sort of looking at artillery target and emergency close air support procedures, battlefield casualty drills, counter um, explosive ordnance threat, count CBRN. So chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear drills. You've got your dismounted cloak combat skills. So you might have to do some sort of um, fire maneuver. You've got leadership. So that's more second section commander. Media handling and civil engagement. Observation and reconnaissance of enemy positions. Obstacles, crossing drills, operational law and ethical behaviour, order procedures, partner force assistance and mentoring, patrol reporting, radio communications, physical and mental robustness, recognition of friendly and enemy aircraft, vehicles, weapons and equipment, tactical conduct and field craft. They are very, very strict. So when you arrive, you get a patrol brief. You then get all your kit inspected to make sure you've got everything that you should have on the kit list, but you also don't have anything that you're not meant to have, such as GPSs. You get caught with a GPS. It's a complete fail. Uh, and then you basically get a patrol brief. Your section commander writes his orders. You build a model, delivers the orders, and then you set off. I remember when I did it, you had to carry all the kit you required for the patrol. But I remember a couple of years later, I knew a team that did it, and their Bergens got sort of shipped um, delivered to a location and they only set off with their day sacks as the both times I did it we did it full Bergen I think the max the total weight was around 44 kilos plus you had weapon um, on top of that so you nearly 50 kilos we were carrying so you go at a very slow pace you normally sort of patrol for quite a while uh, and then we got to a location, had to do some sort of recce. Um, and then obviously along the way, you're obviously making notes, mental notes, whether it's in the dictaphone of the patrol in. So when you get to the next location after your recce, you then have to write an in-depth patrol report, which is obviously harder for some than it is others. If you're in that line of work, you do recce already in the infantry, maybe a forward observer, you're sort of used to writing these reports um, same as the RAC, but if you're, you know, you could be a signals background, you could be the clerks, could be anything like that. You're not used to writing patrol reports, so make sure you get some sort of practice in, but give it the best you can do. Once you've done that, you then get more orders and then you set off and then you're patrolling along and then every few miles you come to some sort of stand. So you might get um, 
recognition of friendly and enemy aircraft you might get to a stand there's a table and they have pictures of different vehicles different weapon systems and you have to name what they are okay and then you get scored on that you've got obstacle crossings um that may be a river crossing so you'll get to a stand there'll be an instructor there and you basically have to secure the bank uh, and then cross as you would do get to the other side secure it patrol off get into a woods um, and then sort all your kit out again and you're getting scored on absolutely everything you're getting scored on the timings as well you get to each checkpoint so if your patrol commander is getting lost or he's slow um, at navigation then you're going to get marked down for that always held in october so the weather is always minging both times i've done it it's been absolutely horrendous sideways rain you're absolutely piss wrapped um wet through uh, and you get wet in the river crossing anyway so it doesn't matter too much um what i would say is make sure obviously you get your team together and you do do some draining i know it is your basic skills but it is physically demanding so make sure you're getting out and you're doing extra sort of pt within your patrol um ready for cambrian patrol and you are practicing those basics because sometimes depending on what trade you're in or even if you're in a you know close combat you do forget certain things so you want to make sure you turn up ready it is extremely tiring the hardest thing about it is one whether you can carry the weight i was pretty physically fit so that didn't really bother me too much two it's the sleep deprivation because you normally get there late at night early hours you then have to build the model get the delivered orders so you're already setting off early and then you're not going to finish for 36 to 48 hours so you're awake for the whole time um, some people do get their heads down for an hour or two but you're not getting much sleep and you're phys physically exhausted from walking I remember patrolling along it was about one two o'clock in the morning and I actually fell asleep walking the patrol stopped so he could do a nav check and I actually just walked into my mate's Bergen and he was like Rob was like you're right there Craig and I was like yeah I'm fine um, I literally fell asleep walking the stands aren't too hard. I remember we did a BCDT, um, Battlefield Casualty Drill stand. It's, it's you know, some sort of scenario, maybe like an IED's gone off, a vehicle's been hit. You have to go in, secure it, and then just carry out, whether you're putting tourniquets on, C CABCD, um, whatever it is you've got to do, you just carry out, get your BCDT cards out, get your tourniquets out, just follow the cards, uh, and then basically they're just marking you on how you do. It is physically exhausting, it is very tiring, but I don't think it's as... People are like, oh, I'm not going to do camera control, it's way too hard. It's one, it's not that hard. People do fail, but it's nowhere near impossible. And two, I highly, highly recommend it because it really, really does test your skills. Like, if you want to be a better soldier, uh, go and do Cambrian Patrol. Um, because it combines everything you would do on ops into two days and it really tests you and you can see where you're at you know if you if you're in the army you want to be the best soldier that you can be and cambium patrol i really believe is going to test you for that so if your regiment your unit is putting a team together i highly recommend volunteering for that it is abs absolutely brilliant um, I remember the first one we had like a seer stand we met up with some SF um, someone from Hereford and he basically taught us how to filter water how to start a fire you then carried on patrolling and we got to sort of a location where we got to get our heads down for an hour or two if you wanted to we then got a set of orders but then we had to deliver back how you would filter that water and how you would um, start a fire so it teaches you little skills like that as well the sort of pass mark for it is 75% of more total available for points or no less than 65% on any single assessed task is a gold. 65% or to set to 74% of total available points, no less than 55% on any single assessed task is a silver. Bronze, 55 to 64% of total available points. Certificate, so a pass completed the event and scored less than 55% of total available points. And you can fail, like I said, if you get caught with GPSs, um, kit you're not meant to have, or you as a team can pull out, which is actually pretty common. Also, if you are patrolling along and one of you guys gets injured and the rest of the patrol wants to carry on, remember you're already carrying a lot of weight. You are going to have to take any of their sort of serialized kit, ammunition, any sort of important kit that needs to carry on for the rest of the patrol. We had that happen on one of my patrol. Uh, his knee went down so he couldn't carry on. So we basically had to pick up the rest of the kit, which then increased our loads. So that may happen as well. Um, 
I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy it. It's a very, very good exercise that I highly recommend to everyone. It tests you so much. It also tests your mental attitude. The first Cambrian patrol I did, we got into the building. We'd been going for about 36 hours at this point. We had... Um, we gave our debrief so at the end you give a good debrief um how did it go what happened here what vehicles did you see what did you see here um you give that across you then have a you have a kit inspection and you think you're done and then they go right set of qbo's quick battle orders what you got to do is you got to patrol from here over to that building over there it's dark um do it tactically get there the best possible route that you think is uh, and then they will give you your next set of orders of where you got to move on mentally we thought we'd finish we're absolutely shattered um i was leading the patrol so i was front point man um, so I had to take the best route, make sure you remain in tactical, alert, get to the other side and the guy goes, well done, I watched you come over, um, you took a really good route, you were all alert, you were covering your arcs, that's you finished. If you come across using lights like some teams have, heads down, then we would have made you carry on. So remember, remain alert throughout the whole of the patrol. Um, once again, highly, highly recommend it. It's a great experience. It's going to test all aspects of soldiering. So yeah, can't, can't rate it anymore. So let's know what your thoughts are. Have you carried out um, Cambium Troll? Have you ever attempted it? What sort of medal did you get? Did you get a certificate? Did you fail? Be very interested to know. Um, let us know his thoughts in your comment section and I'll see you in the next video.